Filip Hergovic stops Mario Herrera in three rounds. Let's talk about this fight. This was a clockwork-like performance with Filip Hergovic. Filip Hergovic is a fighter who I've seen a lot of his fights. I've always been impressed with him. There are a few little holes there that I want to just kind of, you know, take picks at. But they're not, they're nothing major. And I'm sure they think that he can work on. Now, I've seen that in this fight. And so too did Sergio Mora. Because I watched this fight on the zone commentary. And, you know, I couldn't agree more with what Sergio Mora was saying. And I kind of feel the same. And basically, if you watch this fight, especially the first round. Okay, this was only a three-round fight. Herrera was able to land a couple of hooks and a couple of body shots on Hergovic. They weren't necessarily concussive, but it exposed some kind of the, I won't say holes in his defense, but some of his technical deficiencies in a sense that he's very Klitschko-esque, okay? He stands very upright, very European kind of Klitschko, more like Vladimir as opposed to Vitaly, but stands very upright and he's open to kind of counter hooks. And that was something that was happening in this fight. They weren't massive shots, nothing like it. They were just kind of, you know, shots off the rope that Herrera was landing. Not much power on him. I'm sure that, that was somebody else. I'm sure Hergovic would have been a lot more circumspect about the shots that were coming back at him. But even still, standing very upright. Opened the body shots as well, which he was getting hit with in this fight. So, a few little things like that. Maybe you want to see a little bit more lateral movement out of Hergovic. I know he's a very big man. He Again, he does seem to be very stiff. A bit like Vladimir. But, against this kind of level of opposition... I would imagine he can get away with that. He had Herrera down once in the third round. He was hurting him before that. Herrera was kind of, was very negative. He was, he was a journeyman. And he was doing a lot of them journeyman tactics, you know, dipping his head low, kind of stuff like that. You know, complaining some of the shots were behind the back of the head. Despite the fact he was maneuvering his head into such positions, that's the only way Hergovic could hit him. So, you know, it, he was a tricky enough little journeyman there, but he gave little resistance. And once Hergovic was able to break through, in the third round, the fight was over pretty quickly. This Herrera guy, I believe he's been down 12, 13 times in his career. So, you know, obviously not someone who, when he gets tagged, is going to you know give much resistance. And that's essentially what happened here. Herkovic landed a couple of right hands in the third. And Herrera went down. He, he looked hurt. He did. As soon as he got up, the referee waved it off. Quite rightly, I don't think Herkovic was going to have any worries at all in this fight. And this is more so just to kind of see where he's at. So, Hergovic, a very experienced amateur, good professional. He is good from a technical point of view. I would like to see a little bit more movement out of him because he is very stiff and stationary. That's one thing I noticed. And as I said, Sergio Moore noticed it as well. But other than that, I think he's a very good prospect, a very good shout. And I definitely like to see him step up his level of competition now. I think he is definitely ready for someone at European level. I think that, I think he'd beat Huey Fury. I would pick, I'd pick Philip Hergovic to beat Huey Fury today all right i am confident about philip hergovic i do think he's a very good fighter i think he would beat somebody like a huey fury put him in there with Ajay cabayel be an interesting story be an interesting fight even somebody like a brian jennings be very interesting i think hergovic is at that level now it's a very good prospect very good to watch as i said i would like to see a little bit more lateral movement out of him because he is very stiff very upright but other than that not really much else I can nitpick on him. So that was my thoughts on this. Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think about Hergovic. Do you rate him highly? Let me know. I will talk to you after.